So at this point, I suppose you are seeing the uh, Google Classroom. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So this one is uh, from Google. So obviously, this is an application for from Google. Uh, why we choose uh, Google? Because uh, it is widely used. And uh, basically, almost all people, uh, particularly those who are just, uh, just, just a moment, Pastor Ray. Uh, yes, sir. Is somebody using an electric fan? Uh, it might be. I think it is. Uh, Speaking of the sound. Is, is there a noise? Yeah. 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 Can, we have, can we have everyone muted except for Pastor Ray? Para po hindi marinig yung background sa surrounding natin. Correct. Correct. Let's have ourselves muted. Okay, Pastor Ray, go ahead. Okay, pwede na. Ayan. Okay, so as I was uh, saying, let's go to the screen now. Okay, this is Google Classroom. And uh, we choose Google Classroom number one because this is uh, free. In fact, uh, prior to, uh, to the uh, pandemic, this is not free. And they just offer it for free because of the pandemic so that the teachers can use it to uh, train their uh, students even when they are stuck at home. And this is also part of the Google Suite. I don't know if you're familiar with that. And uh, incidentally, Evangelism Explosion Philippines has just set up our Google Suite. And uh, this is part of the package. So that's why I have uh, uh, chosen it as a platform. Okay, so this one is uh, what we call Google Classroom. And you will see so many quick shares here. And there are more than... Uh, uh, 60 of it in this uh, portal and each one represent one class okay and uh, you will see there is a name underneath the uh, quick share it represents a particular teacher that has been shared with this uh, uh, materials okay so let's uh, click one of uh, the uh, classrooms let's choose for example this one uh, from CCBC. Uh, his name is Archie. So let's click this one. Okay, so when you click it, you will enter the materials. This is the main portal of your quick share. Okay, and you will notice the first thing is the four main tabs at the top of this window. The stream tab, which uh, uh, wherein your announcement, your communication with your students will be posted here, okay? And then the classwork tab, will uh, enter that in, in a little while. And then the people tab, and then the grades tab. So this one is really designed for uh, teaching. Uh, this is uh, designed by Google so that a teacher, professional teachers can use it to their students. Now let's go. Uh, upon entering this uh, classroom, you click people. Yeah, people tab. People tab contains the teachers assigned in this uh, classroom. So you can see my name here and Archie Dona. Archie Dona is from Pastor S Church. Okay, and then you will notice that uh, this classroom has no students yet. Because Archie Dona is the last teacher who uh, accepted the invitation. So like uh, two hours before we started the meeting, he uh, uh, activated his account. Okay? So that's the uh, scenario when you first enter your classroom. There were no students. So the next thing you do is to click this uh, icon. You click this icon over here. It says invite student. So you click it and then a dialogue box will pop up. And it says here invite students. What you need to do is you type a name 
or email. So before you enter into this uh, portal, you need to think of students whom you want to invite into this particular class. And my suggestion is this, because this is a Google platform, you need to ask their Google account. So Yahoo will not work. Any other email will not work. You need to ask them for their Google account. So if they don't have one, they can easily create. They go to www.google.com and in a few seconds, they will have their own email account. So let's say we will be inviting Pastor Rene Atienza. So, thank you, thank you. <laughs> as you can see, I type the first three letter and then his name appear here, including his email address. So you just select it, and then upon selection, you click invite right at the bottom. Okay? When you click invite, then an invitation will be sent to him or to the students. You can, by the way, type in uh, all of the email addresses at once in this uh, window so that you, you don't need to do it over and over again. And then you click invite. I'll cancel it. Okay? So after that, when you send your invitation, the name of those students will appear here, over here, at the bottom of students. Okay? But uh, there is a an open and closed parenthesis that says invite. When they accepted the invitation, then their name will be highlighted like this. Or if they have a picture on their profile, it will appear in this area. Okay, the next thing or another way of inviting students is by sending the code, the class code over here. A while ago, Lynn called me up and she's asking for a class code. The class code is for students. So you can copy this class code, and if it's uh, too small for you, we can go to stream, and then you can see over here, underneath the name of the teacher, Archie, is the class code, and there's a broken uh, uh, square. You click that, and it will magnify the uh, class code. So you just select it, and then copy it, and then send it by uh, Messenger, WhatsApp, FB Messenger, or whatever uh, communication messenger you're using, and then send it to your students. Okay, so if it is an email, uh, in, an, in the email notification, there will be join button. When they click it, they enter your cl classroom. Okay, thing like that. Uh, all of the instructions are in the student manual or student guide. Okay, let's proceed to the classwork tab. The classwork tab, everything that you're going to teach your students are here ready. Okay, so the summary is uh, can, can be seen here on the left side of your screen. Okay, all topics. And you, you will notice that there are seven. But the fact is, we only have five lessons in this uh, curriculum number one is a quick share overview it's not actually a lesson but it's an overview under quick share overview we have welcome and two important questions and then after that is connect with people this is lesson number one how they can engage with a non-believer how they can engage with their friends that will lead them to the presentation of the gospel. And then the two diagnostic question, the explaining the gospel. Now, number four is uh, the game changer. Why? Because the in the explaining the gospel portion, this is probably the shortest presentation of evangelism explosion ever, except for the five point, the hand gospel presentation. Because we will be using Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. 
and we will not be accused of sharing the gospel using one verse because it's two verses. <laughs> okay? And uh, incidentally and amazingly, the uh, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 contains and explains the five major points of the gospel. Grace, one, God, Christ, and faith. You will appreciate it when you arrive at that point. So that's the uh, gospel explanation portion and then the prayer of commitment. And then should that, should that pastor Ray number four? Yes. Should that clear in, in, I mean, in the major? Can you show it? Uh, put it up. Put it up. Okay. Number four. Number four. Uh, there, there you are. Okay. The gospel. So when you click it, uh, it contains the uh, video. By the way, every lesson, you, you don't need to teach. That's why I said you will play the role of a facilitator. Because every lesson, it contains a short lecture. Can you see it? It's four minutes. I mean, we, we do it that short, or we designed it short, uh, because of the name Quick Share. And at the same time, so that they, the students can understand it and uh, they don't need to spend much time uh, watching video and listening to a long lecture. And then they will have their lecture notes and we will be using Google Slide. So you have, you, you have read from the teacher's guide that we require two applications, Google Classroom and Google Slides. Because every lecture, there will be uh, Google Slides and every action step, there will be a report form. And again, it will be needing Google Slides. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the main uh, tab. Okay, so uh, I would say that this thing is already complete. When I say complete, you don't need to add anything to it because it was designed this way and it will work as natural and smooth as it will be when uh, you follow the instruction carefully. There is this button here that says create. Okay, so it actually, when you click it, will uh, give a drop down menu that you can create an assignment, quick space assignment, question, material, etc., etc. But you don't need to do anything in that area because, as I have said, everything is complete. As a matter of fact, every teacher, when I send you the link, the invitation, and when you join, Google will automatically create a class drive folder for you. That's why we require Gmail because Google Classroom will create a class drive for you. What's the role of the class drive? Let's click this one. The class drive contains everything that is in your classroom. The lectures, the uh, handout, the uh, quick share outline. This is the gospel presentation outline. The form, the assurance card etc etc even the uh, uh, notes and reports that your student will turn in later on will be stored in your own drive in fact when you started when when you when you start this uh, curriculum this training each of your students will have their own class drive folder as well okay so that's the good thing they don't need to create one Google Classroom will create it for them. As a matter of fact, it also incorporates Google Calendar. What's the role of Google Calendar? When you click Google Calendar, it will go to your account, your calendar, and all of the due dates that you have set in every uh, topics and lessons will be incorporated in your calendar. And you will be notified in your mobile phone, in your laptop, if there are due dates, etc., etc. Okay, let, let me just uh, show you around what you need to do when you enter the classwork. When you enter the classwork, all you need to do is to 
look for the three small dots in every bars represented. So like here in Quick Share Overview, there are two uh, contents. The welcome and overview and two important questions. Okay? So you click the three small buttons at the right side and there will be drop down menu that says either edit, delete, move down. Okay? So you choose edit. And then after clicking edit, it will show you the content of the material. So here's the introduction, the overview, and there are two attachments. These are videos that when the student click it, it will open up from its link in the YouTube. For example, we click this one. This one is from the uh, Go 2020 uh, promotion, the uh, Global Outreach Day. And then this one is the quick share introduction. So let's uh, click this one as an example. So when you click it, it will automatically pop up a uh, window from YouTube and then it will play. Or if not, you need to... So just to give you an example. Welcome to Evangelism Explosion Training. I am Raven Shinda of the Philippines. You are about to join fellowship of millions of fellow believers who have been equipped to multiply the impact of the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Okay, let's uh, stop there because uh, afterwards you will uh, see all the videos for yourself when the materials uh, arrive in your uh, inbox. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to notice this uh, uh, pulse button here or the small arrow down button okay if you want to post this material because uh, take note your students when they accept your invitation as a student they will enter their classroom and their classroom is empty so that's the default their classroom is empty they cannot see anything that you can see here so they can see it any of this nothing so it's empty okay so all you need to do is to schedule every lessons that the students can see and work on so for example here let's go back to the overview section after checking if it has the uh, two attachment here then you go to post when you click post it will be visible to your students or you can schedule it okay so let's say the start of your class will be on may 8 for example you a lot you have allotted two days for recruitment or let's say may 10 you need to uh, familiarize yourself with the materials first you practice and then you recruit students so you send your uh, uh, due date on May 10. All you need to do is to click schedule. So when you click schedule, I'm sorry, I cannot click schedule because uh, somebody's uh, sa, sa, Archie is uh, the one who owns this class. So for the sake of example, I'm showing this to you. So when you click schedule on May 10, 8 a.m., it will be posted on the classroom and every students that you uh, invited and who join your class will see what you have posted okay so everything here the first thing you need to do when you enter your classwork is to click that three little dots here on the side each one one by one okay to make sure that you check the content and the next thing that you need to do is let's jump here at the uh, connect because it's more complete you click edit okay so take note of this because you need to do it in each and every sections 
when you click edit it will expand and it will show you all of the contents of your uh, particular topic or subject or lesson okay so here is the lecture tab and there's this instruction and then there are two attachments the video for connecting and then the lesson handout now take note of this because this is very important when you made a mistake in this area uh, something's going to uh, everything will be ruined so you, you you will notice that it says here students can view file i want you to click it each and every time you need to click this section and when you click that section there will be three options it will give you three options students can view file students can edit file or make a copy for each student now i want you to choose by default by default every attachment whether it is a lesson handout or a, a report form make sure that you select make a copy for each student and it's printed in the teacher's guide okay make a copy for each student and then the next thing that you need to do is you go to the due it says here no due date so you click that portion so that you give your student a due date when they need to uh, finish this particular assignment and they need to turn in the handout that is filled in already because there are blanks in it so they need to fill in the blanks and in order for them to fill in the blanks they need to watch the video so you click this portion no due date and then a calendar will pop up like this then you select a date uh, by the way this program is designed for two weeks not quick okay two weeks and you can extend it for a month but it's too long it's designed for two weeks or maybe shorter okay especially if you have younger uh, students so you select a day i have a class and i'm doing it only for one week for uh, one because, week yeah, because these are very young very yeah. young uh, people like me yeah if you have students that are young people they can they can do it uh, like one week or shorter okay so you you select the date you can even put a time okay but that's optional okay then when after setting the date you go to this portion you have an option to assign it it means it will be posted right at this moment when you click it it will be visible to your student then they will see it if you're planning to post it like tomorrow you need to click this small arrow down button and then you will see there's three options here assign schedule and save draft so you choose schedule say you want it to be sent tomorrow so here's may 6 and then you can choose uh, a particular time for example 10 a.m okay then you click schedule and it will appear to your student tomorrow may 6 at 10 a.m so every section that's what you need to do you make sure that you select make a copy for each student in this area and then you go to the due date and then you assign or you schedule it okay what about in this uh in this area you don't need to do anything here because it's already been set up it's a lecture okay so it's a, it has been set up it's under connect with people because when you uh, click diagnostic question or any other it will be transferred to that area so for you not to commit any mistake don't try to click anything except this one make a copy for each student the due date and then 
the assign or schedule button. Okay. So, you will notice also that in every lesson, there are three contents. A, B, and C. There is lecture, there is reading and meditation, uh, and discussion, and then action step. So, let's uh, take a look at the discussion portion. Okay. Now, every reading, meditation, and discussion portion, there will be short instruction, and then there is an assigned text, like, in this case, John 4, 7 to 30. They don't need to open their physical Bible. They just need to click on the link, and it will immediately open the Bible gate gateway on the particular text that has been assigned to them. So they read it, they uh, uh, take down notes on their thoughts, etc., etc. And then there's a particular, after reading and meditation, they need to answer this uh, question. Like, note how Jesus cared and connected with the woman from Samaria. What do you learn from his example? So in the student portal, there is a uh, portion wherein they can type in their answer and then a button that says submit so that they, you know that they answer the question. And every student's answer will be visible to all of the students and they can interact with it even though they don't enter the classroom all at the same time. Okay? So you don't need to set uh, anything here but just the due date and then if you're going to ask them now or you need to set a schedule okay so that's the only thing that you need to uh, edit in that area the due date and then the uh, posting now or ask or you need to set a particular schedule Okay, uh, wh why do we need to do that? Because we don't need to show all of the curriculum, the contents of our lessons inside their cu this curriculum all at the same time. So we want it gradually so that the learning will be incremental. So again, uh, you will notice also that uh, because every lesson has the same content, lecture, reading, meditation, and action step. So we, uh, beside the letter, we put the number of the particular topic. So, for example, this one, number two, connect with people. There's 2A, B, 2B, and 2C. And underneath, number three, diagnostic question, 3A, 3B, and 3C. Okay, so maybe it sounds so simple to you, but I want you to know that the teacher's portal is editable. Remember that. This is editable because you take control of your lesson. So let's say I drag this one. Okay. And accidentally, I drag that portion over here. So from connect to A, it becomes part of the diagnostic question. So it was misplaced. But I can easily figure it out that it is not part of this section. Why? Because it's 2A. So what I need to do is I need to select it and then drag it up to its original position. Okay? So I, I showed it to you because uh, some teachers commit a mistake of, you know, rumbling the contents of their uh, training materials. Another thing that I'd like to uh, uh, show you is there is an X in every attachments. So get rid of this X, please. Get rid of this X because when you click this like Pastor René did, you will have a trouble of not uh, including the attachment when you post that particular assignment. 
So please get rid of the X because it means you're going to delete, delete the content of that particular assignment.